Welcome everyone to Ethereum CAT address meeting 90. I have shared agenda in chat. Thank you for joining everyone. Let's begin with the first item listed here and that is Ethereum network upgrades. As we know, we are very close to merge. Uh, in one of the earlier uh, consensus layer meeting, developers sketched a tentative date for the mainnet merge, which is uh, somewhere in mid-September. The date that was uh, announced or was uh, expected is uh, 19th September. However, this is not a final date. It has to be in week of that, but that will depend on how we are making progress. Two public test nets have already been merged successfully, and we are almost uh, set with the third and the final public test net combination that is Garli and Prater. This is planned in next uh, few days. So a Garli Prater merge announcement is released. Um, I have added the link to the EF blog post in our agenda today. So after the merge, the Testnet will be renamed as a Gorly. Uh, it, it will be merged with Carter, but will be called Gorly post merge. Uh, Bellatrix is uh, expected to happen at 112,260 epoch number, which is uh, estimated on August 4th. And after Bellatrix is activated, uh, the Gorly Prater merge will happen when the TTD is hit, and the TTD announced here is 10,790,000, and it is expected somewhere in between 6th to 12th of August. So definitely in next 10 days, we are going to see the merge of the um, third and final public testnet, Guardian Prater. Uh, anyone listening, if you are running Node either on... Uh, execution layer or on client layer or you are planning or you are already a validator, please, please, please upgrade your node. You will find the latest version of your client in the EF blog post. So check out the blog post and upgrade your nodes accordingly. That's on the upgrades. Moving on item number two, it is a uh, New initiatives, though we are already working on it. The first one is ECH GitHub Backup and YouTube Backup. I know we made some progress last week and we have ZK Doof on the call. Uh, ZK, if you would like to share update on that side. Yeah, so for the GitHub Backup, we identified a few pieces of the GitHub like issues, et cetera, that would not be backed up to Radical if we uh, just use the Radical approach. So the web scraper is up and running. We will be scraping those web pages and uh, archiving them onto our weave. The second portion of it, which is the radical backup, uh, that part, I still need to talk to William Schwab and see how we get that up and running. And the third part, the YouTube backup, we have identified our solution as LensTube, where we will be doing that backup, or at least testing to make sure everything works as expected. Um, when we get the funds approved, we will upload one video, check to make sure that it falls under the limit of file size that's set by LensTube, and make sure that we can retrieve the Rweave transaction ID uh, directly onto Rweave and make sure that we don't need LensTube, but we can take advantage of LensTube as a front end. So all of that testing is going to be starting pretty soon, but the uh, web scraper is already up and running. Thank you for the update. Uh, uh, just for a uh, general understanding, I understand this can be one-time approach for like backing up uh, the content that we have so far. Going forward, what is the frequency that we are expecting for this, like the general backup? So I think we can set the frequency to whatever we would like. The largest effort is, you know, upfront immediately doing the full backup, but then it becomes a lot lower of a task to just keep things backed up, you know, every every month. Um, we can batch it in quarters if we would like, but 
you know, as long as we identify the information we want to back up, we can set the frequency as desired. Sounds good. Thank you. Uh, let's see how the trial with the first one goes. And accordingly, we can have our plan set for future backing up. All right. Uh, so that's on backup. Uh, the next item here is um, create an ECH calendar. So a community contributor, X-I-N-B-E-N-L-V. Um, I am trying to call him Zin. Uh, so he created a calendar for Ethereum cat herders. Uh, and he has added all the meetings. Um, people can see that on issue number 303, uh, they are already added on calendar. And uh, this is a good calendar for people who wants to participate in meetings organized by Ethereum cat herders because we were not having a public calendar we used to manage using Discord event. So now this is something that people can subscribe to. So thank you so much Zen for creating this calendar. I will uh, pin it on a general channel. So anyone new can also follow the calendar there. The next one is events and hackathon. Um, the first one listed here is DevCon. DevCon is one big event by Ethereum community, and we know there's a lot of preparation needed for that. We are joined by Anat today. Anat has some ideas, and she has listed it here in this uh, HackMD file, which I have added to the agenda. So Anat, if you would like to maybe talk about it. Yeah, thank you, uh, Puta, for introduction. So hey, guys. Um, not sure if you guys remember, but last year, not last year, the year before in Osaka, we collaborated with Ethereum card holders on uh, some sessions in, at DEF CON. And this year, we would love to uh, organize some sessions as well. And we would love to collaborate with Ethereum card holders on that. And let me share a link uh, for the document where um is described more information about the our plans uh but um i mean i have some ideas but uh, there is a hackmd document which i shared with the people at defcon which uh we are trying to get some room and host like a full day event sessions uh the sessions that are planned right now uh with get holders is um like Ethereum founding of protocol operations, which uh, which is like my idea, but I would love to get probably more feedback of like what kind of sessions you guys would like to host. And give me a second, I just need to find a link to the document um, to share it to here. Uh, okay, let me, one sec. Um, um, here. I, have a, I have added in the chat. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much. So uh, that's where you guys can uh, find more information, but uh, we are very open to uh, learn more feedback of what kind of sessions we we should host, but we would love to uh, do more of a like um, fishbowl sessions and open sessions as well, uh, but also very open to like panel discussions. Um, and if you guys have um, idea of what kind of session we should host with Ethereum card holders, uh, I'm very open to hear that uh, because, uh, for example, the two years ago, uh, we had to get a session with each, uh, like Ethereum magicians, Ethereum card holders. Uh, from card holders, it was Hudson and Tim Baco, and um, the EEA was the Ethereum enterprise alliance and we've been talking about this here and like the community and how we can work with the community itself more uh which was pretty cool session and did i share with you push a link to the forum post where okay anyhow i will add it to the github repo of to the issue of today's uh, meeting, uh, the link to the article, which is like recap where you guys can find recordings of the la 
the two years ago, DEFCON, if you guys want to check it out uh, for inspiration, but we would love to have something um, around the same lines and it's very much it. Thank you. Thank you, Annette, for sharing this. Um, I know um, we have people and uh, we have one contributor who is also one of the organizers of DEFCON. Um, so yeah, people check out the document if you have thoughts on ideas like how we can make this uh, event more entertaining and more information based. Uh, let us know and we can probably try to add that. Okay, so that's on the concession. Moving on uh, from the calendar. Uh, okay, from the calendar of ethereum.org, I have listed out a few events uh, which is planned for Ethereum community. Um, one is Ethereum that is happening from August 5th to August 13th. DeFi Con August 11th, 12th, ETH Mexico August 19, 21, DeFi Security Summit August 27 to 28. Link to all these events are added to agenda. If you are in that location or if you are participating or if you would want to participate, please check out the link. And if you have more information of something happening in your neighborhood or in your location, geographic location, feel free to share it with Ethereum cat holders and we'll be happy to share it with the rest of the community so we can get more participants. Any question, comments so far? All right, uh, moving on. The first one is ECH website. So I'm in touch with someone. I'm trying to update the website. Um, he made a pull request, but seems like it wasn't perfect. Um, but uh, I, have, I have suggested some correction there. Let me see if uh, that is uh, like completed. Uh, I, I hope that we will uh, fix the errors in the first pull request and make either and make another pull request or um, make another comment. But yeah, we'll try to update the website as soon as possible. On uh, ECH engineering, uh, looks like we made some progress. Uh, now we do not have EIPV. I mean, obviously EIPV is still there, but we are making use of EIPW and uh, yeah, we have Jose on the call uh, who has been looking into EIP part issues. Jose, if you would like to share anything. Yeah, hello. Well, yes, finally, we managed to get uh, a testing environment. Now we need to, to test that environment with the actual PR. We will be doing that in the, the, couple of, uh, in the next couple of days. We have two PRs to test. Uh, we will start with the Panda Pit uh, PRs, which is both a suggestion. For the other PRs, I already have the candidate for the EIP that we're going to use uh, as example. So let's let's see. We we feel optimist. I I I said we because uh, I need to recognize that Mika has helping me as usual a lot. Uh, but uh, we will get there. We will finally get a clear, a clear way to define a testing environment for the for the bot, and we presume that for anything that runs similar with the uh, into the ecosystem. Let's see, but looks like we're we're gonna get some real progress. That's the bottom line. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much for update and it's really good news that we are finally making progress uh, we were having a lot of open issues on both sides hopefully some of them will be resolved soon as we are good with the testing environment now on learn to earn um, we had this meeting uh, yesterday yeah 25th meeting for learn to earn um, Obviously, we made uh, a significant progress. Uh, 
we are close to the um, quiz master size as well, like it's almost done. Currently working on POAP designing. A few designs were shared yesterday. If people are interested, they can watch the recording. You can find the link to the meeting notes on channel learn to earn on this card, ECH Discord. And uh, yeah, you can follow the recording to maybe suggest on design if you have any suggestion. And yeah, uh, there are a few comments made last week on the user front end side. I don't see George on the call, uh, but if you have any question, comment, concern, feel free to drop in the channel and hopefully we'll get um, answers over there. The next uh, item is cab blazers, <laughs> ECH podcast actually. So yeah, um, I, I think ZK Doof uh, may have some update and I don't know if William, you too, to add. Uh, so for the podcast, we've been uploading the uh, Know Your Client series. People seem to be liking it. There is the Lighthouse episode that's going to be going out today at 12 o'clock. Um, other than that, I think we're just chugging along. I haven't gotten back to my end of things yet. I still do hope to do so someday. Thank you both for updates. But you are definitely helping around, William, in the back end <laughs> with uh, the backups and uh, the funding side and everything else. So, yeah. But uh, we would love to see you back on uh, like recording and uh, having podcasts like the usual interview model that you started. It was a great hit. So we would love to see you back sometime. Moving on, um, next is uh, ECH operations, and um, we have added all wallet devs meeting here. So, um, the last meeting happened on 27th, I guess. And yes, the recording is available. Uh, it seems like... Uh, we have three weeks cadence, please correct me. But uh, there is some calendar available. Uh, ZK, you have more information on that? Uh, yeah, so if you're interested in the All Wallet Devs meeting, I would recommend going into the Discord. Um, one of the pinned messages is the calendar and then you can add the calendar, your Google Calendar, whatever tool you use and see the cadence. I thought it was every three weeks, but it's a little bit more sporadic than that. Um, so yeah, recommend it. Just join the Discord. Um, one one thing I'd like to add here is that we're still looking for people to join the interoperability test event. Um, it's something that you know William Schwab and Heather were uh, trying a while ago. Um, so yeah, we'd like to get you know any any wallet devs or any middleware devs or any DApps to join in the test event. If you know anyone you know, point them my way, I'd be happy to add them. Awesome. Thank you, people interested in wallet development. Uh, please check out the recording. And if you have uh, any points to be discussed, you may reach out to ZK, do for Sam Wilson, and maybe even drop a line in the Discord channel that they have. Moving on, the next item is EIP is inside. In July, uh, EIP's repository received 12 new EIPs as draft and 19 potential EIPs. Like this was huge, like a lot of new EIPs coming. Most of them are ERCs and they are also making progress. Uh, what I mean by that, out of these 19 potential EIPs which were introduced in the month of July, four made it to draft, like they were merged as draft. And the, the EAPs which were added as draft, they were further promoted. Two of them were further promoted to review. 11 EAPs are moved to review status. And uh, one of which is like EAP 2400. This was an outcome of a URL URI meeting 
we discussed uh, about this proposal and community seems to be looking uh, forward to have this proposal in fact final status. So this proposal was resurrected from stagnant and is currently available for review. Two EIPs which were in review status have been moved to last call. Uh, so we have what uh, five EIPs in last call and I believe at least for two of them last call period has been completed. Um, yeah. Please check out the end and uh, the report for July for the status change of EIPs in the month. There are multiple improvements done on the repository and bot side as well. One major, actually a couple of them, the major one are EIPW bot is replaced by EIPV. EIPW bot replaced EIPV bot and uh, Travis CI has been migrated to GitHub Action. Check out the entire report. I have added the link in the agenda. For peep and EEP, uh, upcoming meeting can be found on the schedule that is added here. We have one meeting planned for Akula. Akula is a Rust implementation of Ethereum blockchain. This is one of the latest implementation and is considered to be one of the fastest. We will be joined by Artem, uh, who is the lead developer for Akula client. It is from the team of Aragon. So people, if you are interested to learn more about it, please join the Peep and Eat meeting tomorrow. That is August 3 at 18.30 UTC. We will be having a recording of this meeting available for uh, uh, public uh, in upcoming weeks. So Know Your Client series is available on YouTube and podcast, as Zikidu mentioned earlier. Uh, we are almost done with uh, eight clients, yeah. Ninth uh, client, that is Teku, uh, we will be sharing a recording very soon. So if you are interested in learning about how clients are preparing for merge and what features are there for, uh, for a client that you may consider to run a node if you aren't, uh, running already, please check out the, the Know Your Client series on Ethereum Catalyst YouTube. Okay, the next uh, one is uh, meeting notes and action items for ECH. I see we have received notes for all quarter meeting 143, EIP, IP meeting 60, and we are waiting on CL meeting notes 92, but I'm informed that it will be submitted by today EOD. So uh, we can expect that to be going up soon. All right. And um, there are other few meetings. Those were organized by Ethereum cat herders. I mentioned about URL URI meeting standard working group meeting earlier. So um, that is happening in every two weeks. We have a working document in which we try to capture the notes uh, in sense of like what was discussed in the meeting and what are the next items, um, next steps, or uh, uh, you can also propose items for further discussion. In the last meeting, uh, we discussed about EIP 831. Uh, people are interested in moving this proposal towards final. This was earlier in stagnant. Now it has been moved to review. Uh, to move this proposal further, there was a requirement for EIP 67, which is created and moved to withdrawn uh, because EIP 831 mentions this proposal. So it was needed to have this proposal on uh, the repository. Thanks to Sam Wilson for creating and moving it to the appropriate status so we can further move EIP 831. Among other discussions, so there is an ongoing discussion about idea for compact URL proposal. A FEM thread is added to agenda. Please check out. And if you have any thoughts or you would like to participate in the conversation, feel free to leave your feedback and comment in the FEM link added here. 
we continue discussing EIP 2400 URL format for transaction receipts and EIP 4804, which is Web3 URL to EVM call message translation. Both of these EIPs are now available in review status. So please check out proposal if you are interested in standards for URLs. Other than that, we had EIP Editors Apprenticeship meeting. Uh, recording is added here. Check out the recording. In this meeting, we try to go through open pull requests. And uh, if there are any question, comment, or concern from any of the EIP author, we try to address that. So if you are an author, if you have proposed a proposal, and if you have any kind of doubts, please join us on EIP uh, Editors Apprentice meeting which happens alternate Tuesday. Now that we have the calendar, ECH calendar, thanks to so Victor, um, we can now uh, refer to the meeting and get yeah, John. Yeah, I, I thank you for mentioning that. Uh, yeah, if anyone wants to add any meetings or future, uh, I don't know if we have a criteria, but I, I think our meetings definitely things to be add on the, the um, calendar and if we want to we can also add like events and hackathons or or other things that is that we think is worthy of uh, of noting so um yeah we i encourage everyone who have uh, calendar items to add to it i am happy to share the uh, uh, permission and also Porja already have the admin permission Right. Well, thank you for that. And um, uh, I mentioned earlier in this meeting that I'm going to pin that calendar on hashtag general for Ethereum cat headers. So anyone can uh, subscribe to the calendar. And if you have any request for any meeting to be added, maybe you can share there with us. Uh, we also have a KGV ceremony breakout call number four recording for that is added this is a research uh, update call um people interested in like um, getting information on what's what's the progress on kgz side please check out recording we have a playlist for kgz ceremony on ethereum cat herders youtube there's a question, could we share the calendar in Discord? Yes, I will do that right after this meeting on general channel. Or then, um, Victor, if you can do it earlier, that is also fine. All right. I so can you, can you add an action item? I'm not sure if I catch fully uh, that. Uh, can you add an action item? Oh, share the calendar in the Discord, is that the yeah. goal? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, let me do it. Yeah. Thank you. And the last item is review of outstanding action items from previous ECH meetings. Um, looks like we don't have the notes, uh, and it looks like it was just slipped through the cracks. Uh, we couldn't follow up on this one. I will try to have the notes available. ASAP and if there is any action item from the past meeting, we will have them added in the next meeting and we'll go, go over them. So that's all from the items listed here on the agenda. Anyone else want to bring, share anything today? Thank you for messaging. I would have called on you that if you would like to share any information uh, related to the event, but that's all good. Thank you, uh, Victor, for sharing the link to the calendar. And yeah, I think we are caught up with uh, everything listed here. Thank you, uh, people, for joining us today. Hope to see you in two weeks. If there is anything in between, please do not hold yourself share that on uh, cat herders discord and we'll try to get it uh, discussed further have a good one everyone thank you thank you Buddha.